Hey everyone, Scott here. Today I'm setting up some additional uh, Yolink products. Um, if you've seen my other videos, you might have seen the water leak sensors, the water shutoff valve, um, and even temperature sensors, one of which I have, uh, which tells me the temperature of my pool any time I want to check. Um, anyway, today the speaker hub is the main thing I'm setting up, plus the smoke alarm, door sensors. Uh, the speaker hub allows you to get audible alerts or spoken, uh, you know, spoken alerts, um, such as, you know, when your uh, smoke alarm goes off, uh, or maybe you've left the door open by mistake. So let's, uh, let's take a look. Like a lot of the Yolink products, I'm always very surprised at how compact they are. This is really small. Now, uh, it's powered from uh, micro USB. And uh, of course, the speaker is underneath there. So uh, sound comes out. And uh, unlike their other products, uh, because of the spoken alerts, um, this does need a Wi-Fi connection. The rest of their products, you just have uh, the one uh, Yolink hub, and then uh, everything happens on the LoRa uh, protocol, which is a very low power and long range um, protocol. So let's power this up. And we'll pair it to my account. All right, so the speaker hub is set up. And uh, I'm now going to demonstrate it working with one of my water sensors. I'm going to drop it in this bowl of water. You'll see it alarm. Kitchen. Kitchen sink detects a water leak. Wow. Impressive stuff, eh, Blanche? Now let's take a look at the door sensor. When I pull the magnet away, it's immediately going to alert. So remove that. Garage, door sensor just opened. I'm gonna set up the Yolink uh, smoke alarm and the wireless communication base. This is a Yolink product, which contains all the, uh, you know, proprietary Yolink stuff, uh, the communications with the base station and so on. And this is, a, I guess, a fairly standard smoke alarm. Um, but it has some contacts in the back so that it talks to the base. So let's uh, open these up. Well, you can see I've mounted the wireless base to the ceiling. It came with a couple of screws and uh, plugs. And let's uh, just put the smoke alarm on. Okay, the alarm is on the base, as you can see. So I'm now gonna test the smoke alarm. Uh, you see I filled a bowl with some paper. I've got some matches. I'm going to leave uh, the camera here and I'm going to go into the garage, which is where the uh, sensor is. Garage, smoke and CO alarm detects smoke. Garage, smoke and CO alarm detects smoke. So just before we wrap this up, let me show you how the alarms and alerts uh, work. And so you can set up multiple alarm strategies. You can turn these on or off. Uh, basically, alarm strategies are just rules for how things are going to alert you. Um, and you can decide, you know, how they're going to get sent to you. So it could be in-app notifications. It could be by email or SMS, although SMS is somewhat limited because there's a cost associated to it. The rest is free. And then, for example, what I was just demonstrating to you, uh, the speaker hub, um, is one of the ways that you can be alerted. So if we go back to pick one of those devices, for example, the kitchen sink, um, you'll see here which uh, alarm strategy is selected, which happens to be the default one. Um, but there's also, uh, depending on the device, there will be additional settings. So I can choose the alert interval um, with the leak detectors, um, but the front door sensor, um, or any door sensor, um, has some more options. So for example, as I demonstrated, um, I actually had it set on open and closed, which was an immediate uh, alert, um, but, uh, and which I actually have turned off normally, but what I do have turned on is an open reminder. And so if, it's, uh, if the door is left open for more than a minute, um, and you know, I can set that, I will get an alert, and I could choose to have that um, also periodically remind if the door remains um, open. Uh, finally, we looked at the smoke alarm and uh, you can see the state of it. Uh, you can see the battery levels for the sensor and the base. They're both battery powered. And uh, you can also see the, the result of 
um, the, the test function. You can either initiate it from here or you just press the button on the front of the smoke detector, just like any other smoke alarm. And uh, again, I can choose which alarm strategy and I can choose how often to be alerted as well. So that, uh, I think, wraps it up. Uh, if you like the video, please do like and uh, do subscribe. I've got more of these videos coming, um, uh, DIY projects, uh, tech reviews, um, solar and power walls. If you're into that, my name is Scott and thank you for watching.